Hey guys, I am Daisho, and I am here with a gameplay commentary of Modern Warfare 2. I am playing some Team Deathmatch on Quarry, and I wanted to, to use this time to really thank Rock and um, say that I really appreciate what you're doing, um, having these commentary contests. This is, I think, the third one that I entered, maybe the fourth, and... I mean, it's just great that you're uh, trying to help out. Most most of the YouTube commentators, I mean, they, they even they are really helping us out. I mean, they're giving us entertainment, and that's pretty much what the purpose of YouTube is, just to entertain people, where you're taking it to a whole new level and trying to help your subscribers out in a way that uh, very few of the other commentators do. So I really appreciate that. But I am not going to talk about that in the whole gameplay, don't worry. I am gonna move on to talk about the um, class setup that I'm using this game. I am pretty much running around on quarry but I'm not rushing right towards the enemy I'm kind of um, running around the back being very cautious and making sure that I don't die but I do have the marathon on in case I need to get somewhere quick because this map is pretty big and it really is not is not beneficial to <laughs> anyone who wants to use an LMG though I see a, at least one person use, I think one person is using an LMG on the other team and I kinda feel bad for them because they, it takes them a really long time to get anywhere but anyway this is pretty much the best way to start out a game which is to get your Pred Missile right away and uh, the setup that I'm using kill streaks are Pred Missile, Harry Strike, and AC-130 and I think those are, I mean usually Pred Missile, Harry Strike, and Chopper Gunner but they're pretty much known as the best way to um, get kills in this game. Um, I like I like using it because I have fun using the AC-130, though recently I, I think I got worse with it somehow, but I'm, n I'm not very good at AC-130. But I do, I do decently, I got one this game, and, and I do decently with it. But anyway, right now I'm on a 6 kill streak because I couldn't manage to pick up the double kill with my Fred Missile, which I almost never do. I don't know. I don't know how some people do it so often. I guess, I mean, if I'm playing Ground War, I usually get it, but I don't play much Ground War. Ground War, it really just basically amplifies, at least in my opinion, it amplifies all of the problems with Call of Duty and, and just makes them awful. Um, but here I am running around <laughs> trying to get that last kill. And I found somebody's tar with grenade launcher, though I ran out of uh, grenades. But um, I shoot that guy down for my Harriers. And unfortunately, somebody on the other team must have had a stinger missile out already because I do get a couple of kills with the airstrike, which is pretty good. And then, unfortunately, they shoot it right down. So um, I, w I guess I'll talk a little bit about my channel. I mean, this this video is going up on my channel, but I hope that a couple of other people might see it because it's going to be a video response to Rock's video. So basically, on my channel, I post videos with pretty good KDs. Usually, I, I post only my best scores. Obviously, that's what most people do. But I don't think I'm as good of a player as the other YouTubers because, I mean, I don't know. I just don't manage to get such good scores like ever. <laughs> but it, they seem to get them more often. I don't know, maybe they don't, who knows. But I feel like I am, I'm kind of like an average gamer, and you can basically, I can sometimes give you some tips that somebody else might not notice, because they might be a better player. But, I mean, right there, that was that was pretty obvious what I did wrong. I was just running out in the open without trying to figure out where anybody was. I should have scan the situation and try to take cover. And AC 130s on this map um can sometimes be good if you manage to get them spawn locked. So if you're playing something like um like ground war, I mean if you're playing ground war, it's probably better because all you have to do is kill a couple of people and then um then you can get them spawn locked somewhere. But it really does not work out for me at all. <laughs> um and I managed to I mean, I managed to pick up a few kills every time somebody leaves the building, but it looks like there's four people who are in the building, and everyone else is cold-blooded on their team. So, I mean, that kind of sucks, but you, know, you can't really expect much from an AC-130 these days. I mean, I guess 
I like using AC-130 more than Chopper Gunner because uh, there's almost 100%, not not almost 100%, but there's a good chance that I'm going to be able to get the AC-130 for the full time. And there I was trying to figure out where that dude was, and then when I got closer I realized that I didn't have enough bullets in my clip to actually kill him. So that was that was quite unfortunate there. But um, it was it was a pretty unsuccessful life because that was the life that I called him my AC-130, but I had already died. So... Um, somebody on my team had, was running UAV, and UAV would be the one of the best kill streaks and easily in the game if you couldn't just put on cold blooded. And though it forces the uh, your enemies to um, gimp themselves by using something like cold blooded, it's really it's not it's not um, equivalent to the annoyance it is when you're looking at the UAV and then all of a sudden somebody shoots you in the back. So <laughs> it's kind of annoying when that happens, but you got to just make sure that you're being aware of your surroundings and you're not just staring at that little radar in the corner, which I find myself do a lot. And right now I go on another nice little kill streak here. Sorry about that. Um, I yawned. I hate yawning, especially during commentaries. It's like it's really annoying for you guys, and I apologize. So there, I throw a pretty bad semtex because I knew there was a couple of people there. I think I heard them walking or shooting or whatever, but um, I should have thrown it over and stuck it to one of those like container things. But either way, I know that I saw a sentry gun shoot at someone, but I know that there's also some enemies there. See, there was three guys there, I think, and I pop out to get one of them, and then. I don't know. I guess they, somebody destroyed the sentry gun by then, but I have my predator missile, and I don't. I can't. I mean, everybody's by themselves. I saw three people in that screen. I probably. I don't know why I didn't think of going where I had just killed a couple of people, but I mean, I guess by then there was nobody that left there. Either way, I got. I got one kill, and right here is very annoying because. Um, I get I get painkillered. <laughs> um, if I if I hadn't hit painkiller, I would have been able to kill that guy and then take out the sniper, and then um gotten I mean I would have had my Harriers and then I would have easily gotten my second AC-130. I probably wouldn't have died and maybe even gotten a few more kills and it probably would have been like a 40 and three game or 40 and four or 40 and five game something like that. But you can't let it bother and you gotta just rebound and try to get some more kills. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. We only have 5,800 points, so we still have... Now we have 5,900, so we still have 16 more kills to go. And um, I'm not doing the most efficient job, but I'm doing pretty good, pretty well. Um, I'm using the UMP this game, and I have to say the UMP is, pro is definitely the best submachine gun, and because it um, is so... You get the mobility of a normal... <clears throat> of a of a submachine gun and it's almost as good as an assault rifle long range that's why I really like the UMP but um, some people say it's overpowered mm, I don't know about that whatever so here you see me go into epic mode where um, I get a knife kill I mean a drop shot double spray knife and then I have just enough bullets to take out one guy and I get painkillered for a third time in my last three lives. So the final score was 32 and 5 or something like that. And um, a few of those deaths were because of painkiller, but whatever. I hope you guys really enjoyed this commentary. And good luck to everyone else. See you guys later. Bye.